A week after leaving D-Day commemorations early, Rishi Sunak made up for lost time with a Ukrainian president on the international stage today. But even here at a peace summit in a Swiss mountain resort, his domestic woes lurked on the sidelines. Your party is sliding in the polls. What are you doing to address that? I think what we've seen over the last week is manifestos from both the major parties and the clear choice at this election between a Conservative manifesto that offers a clear plan to deliver a secure future for Britain, taking bold actions and notably cutting taxes for people at every stage. While in contrast, there are no ideas from the Labour Party, just higher taxes. After a week of torrid polling, it's not just money the Conservative machine is accused of running out of, but energy. Of course he hasn't given up. He's, uh, you know, he's worked. I've never seen a... Uh, so much energy in a campaign from, from Prime Minister. While Starmer's promise not to raise income tax, national insurance or VAT, the Conservatives have been playing tax whack-a-mole, trying to corner Labour on rises they say are inevitable elsewhere. For the first time ever, people's family homes will be dragged into capital gains tax. That was ruled out by Keir Starmer today, the Labour leader testing out his bedside manner at a hospital in Bassett Law. We've just been deciding what we would do. Want to be knocked out. We've both go for the complete knockout. He and the Shadow Health Secretary repeated their pledge to create 40,000 more appointments a week in England by forcing hospitals to run evening and weekend surgeries. You talk of 40,000 extra appointments a week. Who's going to be doing them? Because this is a workforce that's already incredibly overstretched. We've got a clear plan for 40,000 extra appointments each and every week. That's two million a year to get those waiting lists down. That will be done working with NHS staff using evening facilities, weekend facilities, and we've talked it through with staff, but also I'm confident because there are models already in place. It's a two-car race in Surrey. His feet on the pedals, but Surrey gains on his mind. The Lib Dem leader said he'd scrap police and crime commissioners to fund more officers. We can save £175 million over the Parliament. We can put that into frontline policing. You know, people want to see more visible policing in their areas. The bounce in the polls coming! <laughs> There'll be many polls sending celebration and disquiet through each campaign's headquarters over the next few weeks. <laughs> Stunts, gimmicks and gaffes too, with not long now to close the gap before the most important poll of all.